But do prophets have schizophrenia? I think there's a good chance they do. Did Jesus have schizophrenia? How else do you keep up an act of talking to God all your whole life and not break character? Uh, having people believe it and getting and, and getting all those followers and everything. How do you just can an actor really stay in character their whole life? His his personality was influenced um, by his um, his his physical makeup, and maybe you know nobody's perfect. We all have our defects, and maybe he had had a a defect where he possibly heard words from other other uh, sources. One God. That'd be interesting because. Uh, schizophrenia, it's usually a multiple voice thing, but maybe for some people it's a single voice. Just one single voice that hears them, that talks to them. Before that, there were, there's uh, the Romans who had uh, multiple gods. Maybe some of them, maybe some of their prophets had uh, multiple voices that talked in their heads to develop their religion. I mean, I've seen a lot of schizophrenics on the west western area. Uh, well, okay, not a lot, but I'd say a fair amount, more than more than a lot of people. All right, and they they draw attention to themselves a lot. All right, they're they're talking, they're chattering away, or they're yelling, and there's nothing, no one else around them. Well, before Sigmund Freud, you'd think. Uh, maybe maybe that person is talking to a ghost because ghosts were more believable back in the olden days. They didn't really study the uh, the personalities as closely as as we did throughout the 1900s. Psychology wasn't really that much of a a discipline. A lot of those studies, if you took a psychology course, a lot of those studies came out in the 1900s or so. Not so much in the 1800s, a lot of bias even in the 1800s anyway, homosexuality is, was a mental illness and all that, so people could have associated, I mean how do we really tell if he had a, a mental disorder with uh, schizophrenia, there are these, there are these uh, schizophrenics who, who every so often will talk to themselves but in a lot of ways look healthy seems somewhat normal they are a little unhinged okay by raising the living living standards of today you could kind of you could kind of uh, point out a schizophrenic their living standards are a little bit lower in general I'm not saying all schizophrenics living standards are lower but it really seems to be an indicator at least I haven't seen a schizophrenic who has uh, looked like they've um, had a lot of money or or uh, popular or well I don't know are they popular schizophrenics today aren't aren't uh, aren't really like popular that that I know it's hard to say either way um, you know people today are able to control schizophrenia with medication and they weren't able to back then so the people with this uh, dis-ease, a uh, dis of ease, had to live with it without real, without any real solutions, and just passed it on. Um, and it, it could come out and well, I don't know exactly how it works, but from what I've seen, it's it uh, just it just causes causes uh, people to. To talk to themselves a lot and um, have either have conversations or they're yelling at at their voices to be quiet. Um, but some some might turn that some might actually be able to turn that into more of a positive thing by by prophesizing. Okay, some some you know everybody takes a different approach to things. 
and maybe the ones that aren't that have schizophrenia that aren't so uh, what um, that doesn't that does it's not really clear if they have schizophrenia or, or not. Those are the ones that are able to to talk to tell themselves how to act uh, with it, how to how to better better conduct themselves in public. Um, maybe, maybe that's the difference between a rich and poor class. Rich, poor people will want to yell and fight with their voices. Rich people might want to negotiate with them better. It's hard to say.